My name is Samuel Gregory. This is a spice I can't pronounce, and this is the Full Stack Agency. I'm constantly responding to people in my comments about the UI of Pine Grove. It sucks. It's like dreamweaver. It's so complicated. And while I agreed in my first look video, I've grown to actually think that for the tool is actually a really great UI. Once you grow familiar with it and understand Pine Grove better. To cut right to the chase, Webflow as a tool is incredibly simple and provides just enough to get some pretty great results for most people. But for the rest of us, we need more from a no-code tool. I counted about 45 elements that you can create in Webflow, many of those being components such as the slider and some being essentially the same elements styled differently, for example, text link, link block and button. So realistically, we're talking about actually 20 elements that you can create. To put it in perspective, I counted roughly 133 possible HTML elements in the HTML spec. With a limited number of possible elements, of course the Webflow UI is simple because there's simply less to do. Webflow also writes a lot of code for you. So this again means they further don't need to present certain UI elements to get stuff done, which cleans up the user interface. This is awesome for casual users, but if this is something you need to do every day, then you want to know what exactly is going on and you want total control. As Uncle Bob put it on my podcast, it's kind of like um, learning to drive a manual transmission versus an automatic transmission. Casual drivers, automatic is fine. You've got two pedals, go and stop. But if you understand manual gears, the clutch, the feel of the revs, it allows you to get so much more out of the car. Manual cars have that little bit of extra UI, but once you get familiar with it, it's much less daunting. You wouldn't ask a race car driver to use an automatic gear car, would you? As creators, there's always going to be a learning curve in getting familiar with a new tool. And the more advanced they get, generally the more difficult it becomes. This isn't to say that we should be complacent with a complex UI, but it's certainly something I've come to expect. And instead of just disregarding it, because at first glance it seems complex, I follow tutorials, I look into the documentation and just have a click around and have fun in order to find my feet. Here's some things I think that would improve the UI of Pine Grow. I invite you down in the comments to let me know what you think makes Webflow UIs great or what you would do to change Pine Grow's UI. I definitely think some more iconography can help with people not only enjoy the interface a lot better, but they can learn to associate imagery with certain actions, elements, or properties. This is something Webflow does really well. There's very little text on their interface and icons are dominant. I would say that given there's less options, they have more space to play around with to show these icons, but at least it's something to consider for Pine Grove. Another thing Webflow does pretty well is contextual options. For instance, you can't see flex elements unless a parent is off display flex. And while I dislike that Webflow forces you to create elements top down, Pine Grow lets you create your children first, style that, and then work your way up to the parent. But having an adaptive interface really does clean it up. Similarly, a lot of styling properties are obfuscated, presumably as they are not widely used, but you can access them by clicking a show more button. I think Pine Grow could have a beginner's mode selector that when you first start the app, it simplifies the user interface in favor of more widely used elements and styling properties. So there's my thoughts in one video. I encourage you not to disregard things at face value and push yourself to learn and grow as a designer. As I said, let me know down in the comments what you would do to change Pine Grow's UI. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, watch one of these videos and happy building the future of the web.